Welcome to Sandwich Sunday. I am your host, Chef Brian Sal. This is the show where we make awesome sandwiches inspired by the most unlikely of people. Today, we're gonna sandwich Jesse Leach of the band Kill Switch Engage and Times of Grace. Vocalist, podcaster, nature lover. If you don't know who Jesse Leach is, where the heck have you been? What is your relationship with food? I tend to be a light eater unless it's something I really enjoy like Indian food or tacos. Because of my diet and lifestyle choices and allergies, I'm picky, but some of it isn't a choice. I don't eat meat, dairy, or gluten. What are your ideal cheat meal foods? Seared fish. Loaded vegan gluten-free mac and cashew cheese. Yes, it is damn good and most wouldn't even know the difference. Vegan gluten-free chocolate cookie dough. I eat that straight up. What's your go-to sandwich? Either tuna fish, vegan mayo, sliced pickles, toasted gluten-free bread, or peanut butter and strawberry jam on toasted gluten-free bread. Sometimes with ripe organic bananas. Dairy-free, gluten-free, doesn't eat meat, he does eat fish. This is certainly gonna be a challenging episode. But with every challenging episode like this, I tend to learn something about cool new ingredients, and today is gonna be no exception. I'm gonna start with our sauce, and the first ingredient I'm gonna work with is fresh thyme, fresh garlic, minced shallot. Today I'm trying the Follow Your Heart brand of veganaise. Let's give it a taste. Need salt, black pepper, and a touch of stevia. Wow, it's actually pretty damn good. Now I'm gonna build a little salad of thinly sliced shallots, radicchio. Next, I'm gonna cut some roast corn off the cob, and here's a fun little hack to do that without making a huge mess some of this corn into that radicchio. We're gonna dress this up with some fresh lime juice, salt, black pepper, and some extra virgin olive oil. Let's mix this up. Jesse mentioned that he likes seared fish and that is exactly what we're gonna give him. So here I have a couple of bronzino fillets that I'm gonna score very lightly on the skin side. And what this is gonna do is help prevent the fillet from curling up. While the fish is searing off, I'm now gonna crush some salted and roasted cashews, put it in a Ziploc bag, put a towel on top, and crush it. My fish is seared off, we're ready to assemble, and you know, I actually personally know Jesse. I wish he was here to try the sandwich for himself. Who's here? Hey, pal. How you doing? What are you doing here? You know, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I have that kind of a sixth sense. I heard you talking about me, so I figured, show up, man. You heard me talking about you? Oh, you've been always weird. Let's have some sandwiches. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I wanted to take a quick second to remind you that my new web store, together with Downright Merch, is officially open for business. Every item that you pre-order enters you in for an opportunity to get the grand prize of your very own episode of Sandwich Sunday. That's right, I pick one of you at random and make an awesome sandwich combination inspired by you. Second prize winner gets a $25 gift certificate that you can use for anything on the entire Downright Merch web store. And for everyone else, you still get a shout out on a future episode. Do not wait on this because the pre-order period ends July 19th. Sure, you can still order stuff after that, but that does not enter you an opportunity to get your own show, to get a gift certificate, to get a shout out, and for me to love you that much more. Regardless, I appreciate every single one of you, and without further ado, let's get back to the show. Jesse, I want you to know, you are actually the first guest on Sandwich Sunday. Ah. That's awesome. I'm very excited about this, but your episode is very interesting for me because this is the first time I've had to explore gluten-free products. Yeah. Which for a sandwich show may seem a little weird and strange, but 
gluten-free products have come a long way. Yeah, they sure have. Right? But this, how do you pronounce this brand? Because I pronounce it Char, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. You know what, dude? I've never said it, so I don't know. <laughs> the first time I had gluten-free bread, I was scarred for life. Yeah, it's, yeah me too. But Sucks. This stuff is actually really nice. We're going to toast it. Oh, uh, yeah. Bread is toasted. Yeah. We have here Miyoko's cashew cheese. Tell me, tell me a little bit about this cheese. It's delicious. Like for, as far as vegan cheeses go, there's a good amount of them that are kind of like meh, okay. This was the first one I tried where I was like, oh, it's passable for like a cheese product. Yeah. And it's actually the least, um, it's got the least preservatives in it and stuff like that. Because a lot of the vegan cheese, just because it's vegan, doesn't mean it's good for you. Right. This one actually is like the least processed, so it's actually not bad for you. Now we got our Bronzino filet. Oh my god. Going right over that cheese. Radicchio and roasted corn salad with a little bit lime juice and shallots. We're gonna put this right over the fish, and we're not gonna be pretty about it. My sandwiches, they're not meant to be pretty. They're meant to be eaten. They're meant to be eaten. <laughs> Did I just take your line? I just totally you did. Your line. And, and you know what? That's <laughs> pickles, because you did mention pickles in your questionnaire, right, Jesse? Pickles are, are amazing. We have uh, back home, my girlfriend and I have an entire shelf in our refrigerator that's all pickled products. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Veganaise with the fresh thyme, shallots, and a little bit of stevia. And we're not gonna we're not gonna be gentle with this either. We want this sub sloppy. to be sloppy yeah, and dude. saucy. Let's accentuate the texture and the flavors with some fresh ground cashew. Sick. My friend, do you want to help me top off the oh other sandwich? You have to look into the camera while we yeah. do it. Let's top this off. Oh, oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Whew. well the real Jesse Leach ah. and. The Jesse Leach. Yes, dude. <laughs> Let's cut it in half. I'm gonna. In the, you want to do the, the honors in the great in the great reveal of <laughs> of the cut? Do a little. Don't forget, stuff. we got the overhead cam. Oh, there it is. Oh, you want the we, you want diagonal? Yeah, a little di <laughs> deli style. You show, you're showing more surface area. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look at that, guys. Yes. Let's take a bite into this. Mmm. Mm. The bronzino is fresh, bright. The salad with the lime juice and the shallots is coming together really, really nice. You know what this needs? This needs one more thing. I just thought of it. We're gonna modify this sandwich. Oh yeah. Right now, we're here, there you go. Put some fresh cilantro on this. Oh my God. I think that's gonna add some herbaceous aromas that I think this sandwich will benefit from. Thai style almost. Oh yeah. Yep. Next level. Yep. Took it to the next level. Well, it seems like you enjoyed that. Uh, before we finish off with today's episode, again, thank you so much for coming. Oh yeah, man. And let the audience know what have you been up to, what you, will you be up to? Yeah. I'm sure everyone, all the KSE fans, all the Times of Grace fans out there are really excited and are wondering what's gonna happen next. Times of Grace, um, maybe at some point we'll play live, but uh, excited that the record's coming out. Um, Kill Switch touring with, excuse me, <laughs> That's the fish sandwich coming back up. Uh, touring with Slipknot will be awesome to come back. And then um, hopefully we're gonna make up that tour with Light the Torch. That's kind of our, our big plan is, you know, we're so excited for that tour to happen and then you know, the world shut down. So that's something we're planning on bringing back out for everybody. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And then I have a band called The Weapon, which doesn't get mentioned enough, I don't think. A punk band called The Weapon, and we're gonna be working on some new stuff as well, so. And also your Same podcast. Music. And my podcast, thank you. Yeah, yeah so I have a, a podcast called Stoke the Fire which is, you know, nice deep conversations with people. It's not just about music and art, it's more about who people are and making a connection with people. So yeah, check out Stoke the Fire. Thank you so much for coming on oh, to the show. Oh, my pleasure, man. You kidding me? I'm ready for a nap now. <laughs> guys, Devoured that, it was so good. Well, there's, there's nothing left. Yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining. I have been your host, Chef Brian Sow, not your typical chef. And me, hey. <laughs> and I'll see you really soon. Hell yeah. Peace.